here we are in Las Vegas guys check out the driverless cars we have here do you trust it yes or no now I'm going to show you where the F1 is going to be held they redid the whole strip just for this event it's kind of confusing as a person driving a car so hopefully this is the right way but basically I am on the runway guys isn't this crazy looking so uh, hopefully I can get through a stop there on red somebody's on there um, I wanted to show y'all what's going on supposedly if you're in a room you're not able to see um, what's going on out here I don't know how they're gonna reroute the traffic but right now it's kind of insane I just came down here to see what was going on and make a video and everyone always drives crazy here so expect the unexpected look at them um, last minute just doing whatever that's how they are they're all going into the Bellagio and I'm headed back home people are here for the races they've spent like thousands and thousands of dollars on their tickets and now I hear the tickets are like half of what they were um, we're supposed to have like a bunch of uber drivers that are not working because they don't want to be stuck in all the traffic and not make anything I suggest they just go to the airport and say hey uh, hundred bucks I'll take you now anybody <laughs> I don't know but anyway headed home and we got advertisements for the Bedford Martha Stewart she's amazing I have not eaten there yet but I want to the horseshoe that's one of the newest named casinos um, what did it used to be? Does anybody remember? So there's the Mayfair Supper Club. I've eaten there before. It's pretty exclusive, hard to get into. So see how long this traffic takes. And I'm just trying to get home. I live in North Las Vegas, which is literally 15 minutes away. But I'm trying to see how long it takes me on this day. Uh... And all this stuff's going to be cleared out, so just ride with me, ride with me. I don't like to drive closely to people, but here they'll just jump right in front of you. If you don't, it's like you have to pay attention extra in Vegas. It's to everything. Look. Those are the stands where people are going to be seated. This is blocked off, I guess, so people can't get a free peek. I don't know. There's Dre's. Dre's has a lot of the hip-hop artists. It's usually a lot of fun there. I haven't been in a little while because unless you have a table, you don't want to be standing around. And the tables are like $10,000. A uh, smaller one might be like 2500 but it's just like, unless I have a bunch of friends here, I'm not going to want to do that. Um, so next week is Usher for me and my friend, and that should be fun. Look. Lots of advertisements for cars. Um drinks what is that Heineken okay yeah since Budweiser isn't one of the main drinks anymore I guess Heineken is getting their uh, punch in <laughs> I don't know guys 
sorry I'm clicking my gum so loud, but it helps me with my nerves down here when I'm driving. It's just like really annoying to drive in Vegas. So when you live here, it's like the insurance is high, the car registration is high. The nicer your car, the more your registration is. Which, yeah, it doesn't make any sense, does it? You would think that somebody would have to pay more if their car was like a bucket and messing up the roads. But anyway, um, such cool buildings we have. Flamingo is one of the older ones. Um, there's the Paris right there. Okay, finally taking off to where I need to go and it's down to one road or one lane when this normally is a couple lanes so there's a CVS in the middle of town if you guys want to get some cheap stuff you don't have to go to the Crystal's Mall <laughs> or buy the drinks for $20 each if you go and go to um liquor store yeah I'm just saying save some money that way Vegas is expensive so anyway but most people come here to spend it so that's what it is is what it is right so I'm still here there's Caesars there's a Bellagio I guess the track is on that side I'm not I'm confused but either way I'm just glad to be getting through here and I came down here just to make this video for y'all who are not here for the F1, but want to see what's going on. Um, I'm not going live because I could get in trouble on social media. They don't like you doing stuff they deem dangerous, but I'm just holding this in my hand as I drive. And uh, as you see, I'm pretty much parked anyway. So... Here is Vegas before the F1. Just letting y'all see what's going on. They keep advertising for the new Mercedes. That's pretty cool. So we're out here, guys. Las Vegas before the F1. We out here.